Hello guys, Scott Alexander here, and now I'm going to be doing a painting using the second kit that I'm uh, providing on my website. <clears throat> it's a perfectly peacock colors, and what I've got is black and white, <clears throat> an ounce of black, two and a half ounces of white, and then an ounce each of blue, gold, purple, and green. And those are the kind of the colors that I, I it's my wheelhouse, that's kind of where I stay in when I'm just painting for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it a little bit different. Today I will be using the shot glass, but I'm gonna be mixing paints a specific way and then uh, showing you one of the effects that, that I'm uh, kind of known for. So here we go. I'll get you a little bit closer so you can see the canvas better. Okay, so I'm gonna do two different things. I am going to use one of my mixing cups and I'm going to put paint in here to cover, to do a base coat. So this is kind of what I do. I'm going to use most of my black until it starts dripping and I'm going to stop. That means there's still some black in there, but I haven't used it all. I'm going to pour some white right down into the middle. It's about half of my white. <clears throat> now what this is gonna do is it's gonna, when I pour onto the canvas, it is going to, I'm gonna pour it just in the middle and one steady stream and it's gonna, it's gonna create its own pattern and come out round. And then I will tilt it so I can get the entire canvas covered, but it's going to put some interest at least in the background. And then with the other colors, <clears throat> I'm going to come back through and I'm going to create some effects to go through that painting. But there's going to be the black and the white in the background. So we're going to set this to the side and let me get this other thing started. I have blue, gold, green, and purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my blue. I'm going to tilt. My shot glass and set my blue to the side. My next step is gold. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tilt and I'll pour straight down the side. I'm trying to do equal amounts. This is all eyeballing it. Here's my purple. And I always place my colors <clears throat> down in the order that I put them into the container so I remember, especially if I'm trying to keep them in a, in a specific order. I've done before, I just kind of put them down wherever and then I look at them, I look up and I have no idea where to go. I'm going to put just a touch of the black that was left. All right, now what I've done by putting them all in on the side, and I'll do my best to show you, is if you can see the different layers of paint now that I have in my container. And that's how they're going to come out. They are going to blend, especially because of what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take my white and I'm going to do from up high, I'm just going to pour into it and what it does by up high is it, it breaks that surface and it goes through as many layers as possible. I'm going to set that to the side and let that cook for a minute. So it'll blend up those paints even more. I like a, a pretty Let's blended color. canvas covered. Let's do our first, remember I said I was going to use, here's my black and my white, and I'm just going to pour directly in the middle and keep it poured until we're through. Yeah, I always, um, I like to catch the paint coming back up anytime I'm pouring into a canvas because 
Otherwise, it leaves this little dribble mark at the end that doesn't doesn't really go with the rest of the pattern. It's just kind of a kind of a squiggly, and I don't like them. So I do that to try to catch everything out of. <laughs> two things. I'm going to do that in the middle while I'm turning it to create some rings and then I'm going to stop and then from one side to the other I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to travel from one corner to the next and that is a traveling tree ring core. So let's see how that works out. So here I go in the middle. ready to catch the paint so it doesn't mess up the pattern. All right, <clears throat> so you see that? You see that? It's got all those rings in it. With every one of those rings, there's a thousand different things waiting to happen. So I don't want to lose all of my black and my white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt over this. I'm going to try to get it to come and cover this area. I want to show as many techniques as I possibly can. So, so far, uh, we saw the puddle pour at the beginning. The puddle pour is pouring in the middle. The black and the white are mixed together in a cup, and it created all this greatness. You know, all the black and the white here. And then I tilted and got it to the different sides. I poured my colored paints through into the shot glass on the side each time and created layers and then I did another pour in the middle like a puddle pour but it was a tree ring because I started spinning created all these rings all these layers here and then I tilted and stretched this way now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tree ring where I'm I'm twirling the paint but I'm going to travel from one side to the next and you know what, I was thinking I was gonna go across this way, but I think I'm gonna come down the middle here so that I can keep kind of the river theme going, which means I'm gonna have to angle it this way since I'm gonna go up. Just made it. I already see there's some really interesting colors coming up. So I'm going to tilt it up, catch that upper edge, grab those down, let it settle, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here.
<clears throat> now I'm going to torch one more time and hopefully I don't disturb too much of these layers. I like the layers, out, but I really like what's happening with that white at the top in the layers. So I'm going to see what I can draw out down here and it's gold. I'm going to let the white know it's okay to come out. Get into this, these rivers of color that I have. Black and white is pretty much settled on what it wants to do. But every time you move the paint, there's something else that might <clears throat> develop because you're giving it an opportunity to come up. happy with that painting very happy all right guys uh, once again if you have any questions let me know these kits are available to you guys it's at www.scottalexanderartworks.com uh, there are discounts for the more that you get and again my goal is to get people hosting their own paint parties in their own you know homes and and, and cities so uh, again, visit my website so you can see what I'm what I'm all about, and uh, I hope uh, to see your paintings. Now, once you've done paintings, if you have a group, if you've got a painting kit for me, uh, use the hashtag hashtag painting with Scott Alexander. I know it's a long hashtag, but uh, I guarantee you nobody else is using it. So painting with Scott Alexander. So I would love to see the paintings that you guys are able to create with my kits. So uh, we'll see you next time. I wish you all the colors. Bye, guys.